Welcome back everyone! Welcome back to Let's Play Car Mechanic Simulator 2015! We've just finished our 300 SL over here, everything is nice, and the car value is 110,000. That's quite nice. We've got uh, performance stuff in there, as much as possible, we'll put it on the dyno now. The original engine produced, uh, what, 257 horsepower, I believe the game said? So now we're gonna find out how much it makes with the performance parts. Quite a lot more, actually. Bloody hell! Well, that's pretty good. Now for the dreaded tuning minigame. Uh, 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 uh. Wait, so... Why don't these th two line up? That's really bugging me. Look at this. Line up! Oh, because it's like... What? I don't get it. I really don't. Okay, so like... Oh, no, no. 9%. There we go. Now all we need to do... There. Ah, you bastard! I was almost there! Okay, let's try it like this then. It's almost there. No! Okay. Let's go for one more, because I think it's sort of... No. Come on. Uh, I really do. I... I... What? I had this before. 12%. Yeah, I've said this, but we'll do more. Because I wanted it full. So there. Okay, so this one... Okay. I should just do it like this, of course. So go down. No. Like this, then. There, 18. Alright, test run. See what it has now. Yeah, oh, almost 400. Well, that's the maximum amount of power we can get out of this, but that's pretty good. Unfortunately, it means that it'll be completely unusable on the drag strip. Because, oops, um, yeah, we'll just spin out. Drag strip. Yeah. All right, accelerate to start. Yeah. I'll just start in second because well, that might have been a mistake. Hmm. I'll have to try again. Unfortunately, which means another bloody loading screen. Yeah, nine seconds in second gear. That's not bad. Not really sure. I would want to go 200 kilometers per hour in this thing. Yeah, not really sure. Wow, the uh, the brakes work nicely. We didn't spin out. Let's uh, restart the run. I wish there was a good way to launch, but there really isn't. All right, let's try this. All right, it didn't spin out. Okay. Yeah, that's much better. Yeah, look at that. Six seconds to 100. That's pretty good. It's not amazing, but it's good. Yeah! Yep, that wasn't bad. That was not bad. The funniest thing is, I wasn't watching the speedometer, I've only noticed that it goes to 160 and that's it. <laughs> right, let's return. <sighs> okay. Remember last time, when I said how the loading screens, screens piss me off in this game? It's not 10 seconds, like I said last time. It's bloody 30 seconds almost. Per loading screen. Why? Oh my bloody hell. I've... Can't it put all everything into the bloody RAM? Oh my... Giddy aunt. Ridiculous. Anyway. 
Let's sell this car. It's 110,000. That's pretty darn good. It's got 400 horsepower. Uh, yep. Pretty happy with that. There we go. Ding! Nice. Alright. Let's also go up. I never went upstairs. Can I? Wait a second. Somebody said that you can change, like, the... The look of... Uh, where do they say you can change the look of your shop? You have to click on something, but I have... There's a parking. No, there's a port. There's an exit. Another exit. What do I click? Oh, there you go! Oh, I never saw this before! Look at this! Oh, man! Wait a second, you need bloody XP for that? Oh, come on! Okay, you can have this, these walls. I already have these walls. What? Option zero. Oh! Okay, you select the option. Lifters. Huh? You can change. Are you sure you want this upgrade? What? What upgrade? What is it going to upgrade? Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, I see. Now you can change the color. Okay. Let's have red ones. Um, okay. Well, it would be nice if it showed you you know, things first. Oh, ooh. that's kind of cool. Oh, I like that. Oh, my bloody hell. Huh, that's kind of cool. Interesting. Kind of like that, but that's kind of cool as well. Just concrete, I guess. Huh. I like these tiles. I really enjoy these. Uh, walls. Um, windows. Yeah, let's get the walls. See what we have. That's cool. I do have to say that. Concrete. Uh, hmm. I think I really like this. Or something like this. This is not bad. Yeah. I'm happy with that. Look at this. Nice, the floor. It's, of course, there's still bloody oil everywhere. Oh my god, somebody clean this place up, please. And when I say my god, I mean the flying spaghetti monster, of course. I like the walls as well. Is this... What is this? It's like corrugated steel or something. I don't know. Anyway, uh, right. Let's get the car from the paint shop. Oh my god, the collar! No, 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 no. Okay, let's let's choose factory color. This is not a factory color. <sighs> All right, let's uh, let's do saturation. Should we do a red? It doesn't really suit the Mercedes. Let's do a black. There, like that. Paint car. There we go. It's more like a Mercedes. All right. Now, of course, we'll need to uh, take care of it because it's in a poor shape. But that's what we do. All right. All this stuff comes off. I think the body is in good nick. So uh, we don't have to do anything about that. Okay. Right. Let's try to repair it. Uh, there's the repair table thingy. Well, I destroyed one thing. It's not too bad. Don't have the trunk. Uh, body parts. Trunk. Should I do this? Oh, of course. Uh, this is the 560, right? Trunk. What is the trunk? Should I do a performance part, uh, performance thing on this one as well? Probably. Why not? I mean, you know, it adds a little bit of interesting stuff to it front left door in extremely bad nick front left no the fender ah where's oh there's the door front left door oh excellent i needed this anyway i was afraid i, g I got two now there's a hood the headlights, front bumper. It's so funny to see these, you know, headlights nowadays. When you see uh, older cars and they still have halogen headlights. It's so weird to see because there's 
at least over here in Europe, there's so many um, uh, LED uh, headlights now. Front right door. So, you know, like, Xenon was, uh, Xenon lights were pretty awesome at the time, but those are already phasing out. Now it's all LEDs. And they, I think they look fantastic. I think they make the car look really good. Alright, let's put it on one of the red lifters. No. Nice. I was kind of hoping it would change the, uh, the sounds as well or something. <laughs> Alright. Do we want to swap the tires? Race tire, off-road tire, slick tire, standard, vintage. No. No, I think I want to keep the tires. I would like to switch the... Uh, well, actually, no. Because we want to keep it sort of looking stock, but having more performance, of course. All right, there's going to be a lot of stuff in here, but very interesting as well with the with the engine. With a V8. V8 engine. I want me a V8 engine. All right. Um, bloody hell, there's a lot of stuff here. Take all that stuff out. There we go. Tie rods. On shock absorbers. Oh yeah, I need to take this out first. And then we can take the springs out. What's... Oh yeah, the inner tie rod. Or the outer tie rod first, and then the inner tie rod. Let's also take the rubber bushings out, as per usual. It's, it's pretty much the same in all the cars, it seems. The model is, you know, the cross member is the same. Let's take the other... There it is. I got it! What? Oh. I have to take this off first. Oh yeah, I have to take the wheel off first, of course. There we go. I'm really looking forward to that train mechanic simulator 2017. It's not, uh, it's not being made by the same guys. It's not being made by these guys, which is kind of interesting. But, hopefully, it's gonna be good. Because I'm certainly looking forward to it. And I think we'll be playing it as a Let's Play. Because people seem to enjoy, uh, you know, Car Mechanic Simulator. Thank you. Thank you for all your comments, by the way. It's really interesting to read, you know, people's wishes and dreams. And something I've said already, I know. But uh, there you go. It is interesting. What people want. All right, now we can't take the power steering pump. We can take the starter, which is very important because otherwise you need to... Uh, oh yeah, I can do this one from the below here, so that's good. There's an oil filter. If I take this out, will the oil... No, it won't just explode everywhere. <clears throat> now let's take the pipes off. And take this off. Oh yeah, I can go to the back and do that as well. The resonator! Take the rings out, or off, really. Brake calipers. I don't think it had ventilated discs at the back, no. We should... Actually, you know what we should do? We should buy a Maserati. One of the ones that weren't... Uh, that wasn't in the uh, DLC when it was released. But they said that it was coming soon, and now that it has... We should probably do that, see how it is, and also work on a Maserati. That'd be kind of cool, yeah. That will be our next mission. Buy a Maserati. And restore that. Let's take all the rubber bushings. Bloody hell, I'll need eight of them total. There it is, and there's one as well. And in fact, I'm going to buy them right away. A rubber bushing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There. Got all this stuff, man. So many little parts. Uh, take that off. Take the... Oh, gotta take the other wheel off, of course. There. Brake calipers. Yeah, it is, you know, playing these kinds of games, it is kind of, oh, it is kind of, um, relaxing. 
There's no shooting to be done. There's no surviving to be done. There's no, no. It's just relax. Take your time. Oh man, even more rubber bushings. Okay, two more. So yeah, it's quite a nice change. Mind you, you could say that turn-based games, you know, can be relaxing as well because you don't you don't have to do everything in real time. You have, you have time to think. But then again, just remember XCOM and XCOM 2. Yeah, didn't quite relax there. Because every everything you did could have been a death sentence for your soldiers. Oh, and there's more small rubber bushings. Let's buy two of those. There we go. I'm taking that off now. Did I already take it off there? Not sure I did. There it is. Nice. Look at all this stuff coming off. This car will be restored and it will be awesome. Hopefully. And if not, I'll want my money back. Alright, the cross member goes out. Let's take out the fuel pump, which will be a performance one, of course. Alright. Now this. Things are coming along nicely. I can take the gearbox off now. Because we took the starter off from below. Let's take all this stuff off. Nee, 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 nee. A bit of an annoying song, but there you go. There's a crankshaft, of course, we can't take it off. Oh, yeah, wait, no, no. Oh, yeah. Should have taken the oil out. Oh, well. We'll do that later, I guess. Right, everything must go. Battery, fuel filter, air filter. It's a big air filter, of course, it's a big engine. Look at that spider. There we go. Ignition wires. Oh yeah, the clips need to go first. Oops, there we go. There's a lot of parts. It's kind of... I don't know why. It's kind of satisfying taking this stuff apart piece by piece. And then putting it back together. Probably even more so. <coughs> have to remember to drain the oil, though. I'll, ha I'll uh, have to lift it anyway for the, uh, for the crankshaft and such. So it's not a huge deal. There we go. That is a lot of... Hamshaft bearings. There. I'll have to get this off, of course. Let's take the radiator and such out of the way so we can see what we're doing. Because otherwise, we kind of blind. Oops. Take that off, all the belts off, the crankshaft pulley, the power steering pump, which is quite a good nick, apparently. Let's see. It was in 78% condition. Yeah, that's not bad. Okay. The water pump certainly is not in a great condition. There, yeah, timing cover so we can get to the uh, chain. Let's also take this cover off here. That is quite a big engine. There's the ABS pump and the ABS module. You know, I was uh, reading about the uh, history of cars a little bit and it was so funny <clears throat> when uh, when airbags were first uh, introduced, right? Uh, I believe it was a it was a BMW or was it a Mercedes? I can't quite remember now. Uh, but anyway, uh, on their car, it was first offered as an op extra uh, as an optional extra. <laughs> it was, I think, quite expensive as well. But it was an optional extra. For the driver only, you know, for the steering wheel airbag. <laughs> it's like, oh man, the times we lived in, or, well, well, yeah, I was, I was driven as a kid in a car without any airbags at all, I think, yeah, so, uh, it's kind of weird if you think about it, how did we survive? <laughs> uh, oh yeah, I have to take the manifolds off, with lots of screws as always, but yeah, an optional extra of an, an airbag, one airbag, and now today you've got like loads of airbags, front, side, rear, bag, on your ass, I don't know. It's kind of funny, you know, if if you've ever seen the uh, film, what was it? I can't 
can't remember the name of the film now, damn it. But it was, um, I think it was Sylvester Stallone who was frozen and then unfrozen in the in the far future because a criminal, you know, only he could uh, get was, I don't know, was unfrozen as well or something like that. And uh, in that future, the car that he crashed actually had a sort of foam airbag or something that enveloped the entire car. That was quite funny to see. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. We're going to continue with this next time, but look at this lovely car we have now. Yeah, we're going to continue next time, so thanks for watching. Please share, like, subscribe, and check out my Patreon. Bye-bye.